That is the Midwest, after all. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> and we're warming up here, too, Natasha. Yes, we are. Just uh, checking up on our PDX weather app. Our temperatures are definitely heating up. But if you don't already have the weather app, you should definitely download it on your phone. It's super easy. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Easy to read. Uh, because if you're using any other app, it's going to tell you it's going to be 100 next week. That's insane. Okay, just want to let you know that. <laughs> there you go. Download that PDX weather app. Uh, 79 degrees right now at PDX, but we're going to give you a downtown view. Overcast skies now beginning to really fill up the northwest, except for east of the Cascades. We're nice and clear with blue skies. Meadows, Mount of Meadows, 65 degrees. Wind barely there today. It will be more so though tomorrow. Western Oregon University, look at that, just a few high-level clouds streaming in 79 degrees, seaside 63, makes for a pretty picture when we have those clouds in the mix. Wind light, about 10 miles per hour there. Current temperatures at the coast overall in the mid-60s. Now, if you go further south of McMinnville, now you're talking about some low 80s, Salem, Albany, and over to the Dalles, it's 83, mid-80s, Central Oregon. So we have some rain already moving into northwest Washington. It's going to take a few more hours before we really start to see the rain move closer to places like Astoria. But you can see it's already right there ahead of this next frontal boundary. Zooming in a little bit closer, you can see those high-level clouds that are showing up on camera way up there, several thousand feet above us. But those clouds lowering as soon as that front gets closer to the coastline. Your current wind speeds between about 10. 10 to 50 miles per hour at the coast out of the north northwest. Uh, but as we get to tomorrow, all these wind speeds are going to be up about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now, looking at tonight, chance for some drizzle or light rain beginning about 1 o'clock in the morning and then becoming more widespread for just about everybody west of the Cascades. Just in time for the commute before 6 o'clock in the morning. And then it starts to break up and really starts to kind of hover on the western slopes of the Cascades into our foothills. And also, the focus of this rain will be in Washington. So that's where we would expect the higher rainfall totals. Whereas south of Salem and into Eugene, you won't see as much rain. You'll see a little bit, but probably won't amount to much more than a few hundredths of an inch. Coastal temperatures tomorrow. Low 60s, inland valleys, upper 60s. Central Oregon, mid-70s, and through the gorge, 66, Government Camp 50. Uh, just a quick look at those rainfall totals, what we could see Wednesday through Thursday midday. Again, as mentioned before, just a few hundredths of an inch. We'll be lucky to get a tenth of an inch, though, at PDX. High pressure really starts to take over for us as we get to this Father's Day weekend. So notice here, our temperature is going up, up, and up. 84 Sunday, Monday, 86. Tuesday, 90 degrees. We would have to get at least to 95, though, to break any records break next records. week. Still warm, though, out there. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Natasha. Sure. We do have some breaking news we're following right now.